and I muted myself. Okay, all good. We're recording. Um, hi, everyone. Thanks for joining today. Um, I'm here at Lee's Invitation to talk to you all a little bit about Kobo and how you can reach new readers with our platform. So first, a little bit about me. Um, so I'm Laura. I'm Kobo Writing Life's author engagement manager. I've been with the Kobo Writing Life team since 2017 and with Kobo since 2016. Um, so uh, I really kind of have enjoyed my time with Kobo and my role has kind of grown over the years. Um, I started off on the content operations side, so learning more about the back end of how EPUBs are put onto the Kobo store. Um, but now I do more of the one-on-one -on -one author support. Um, I do our social media channels. I help make sure everyone gets paid on time. Um, I do the Kobo Writing Life podcast. So honestly, a little bit of everything. Um, but one of my favorite parts of my job is kind of uh, doing presentations like this and getting to tell authors more about the platform and giving you some tips and tricks to help you reach new readers. Um, so glad to be here. Um, so just doing. Sorry. Okay, um, I'll keep going. Um, so just a little bit of an agenda overview. Um, so I'm going to do kind of an overview about Kobo, um, a look at what our readers and partners stores look like, a little bit about what is Kobo writing life and the tips and tricks that I have for authors, and a little bit about getting your start on Kobo if you're new to the platform or moving over from a distributor or um, going wide for the first time. Um, so first, a little bit about Rakuten, which is our parent company. So Rakuten is based in Japan, but kind of has different companies throughout the Americas and throughout Europe. So we make up part of the North American section of Rakuten. Uh, Rakuten has 30 countries and regions and 1.7 billion global members with 70 plus services. So Kobo is part of the digital content arm um, along with Rakuten Viki and Rakuten TV. Um, but one of the great parts of being part of such a big company is that we get to work kind of in conjunction with um, the different companies and collaborate on different things. Um, so we've worked in, we've worked with um, Rakuten Viber before to do um, stories with authors. Um, and we've also worked with a former Rakuten company, Overdrive, to set up library distribution for authors as well and make sure that is set up directly in Kobo devices. Um, so it's a really cool way to kind of leverage those sister partnerships. Um, so now a little bit about Kobo. So Kobo literally is an anagram for book. We stand for books. And um, we're really a company full of book lovers um, and that's our main focus. So we only sell ebooks and audiobooks and e-readers. So that's all we're focused on. Um, and it's our main priority to kind of make reading lives easier and make sure that we can connect uh, authors and readers and make sure readers can find the books that they want to read. So we like to say that we're your favorite local bookshop perfected. So we try and embody everything you love about your favorite local bookshop perfected for modern life. So our mission is to bring the power of reading to your world because, again, we're book lovers just like you. So a little bit about our global retail partnerships. So one of the ways that we kind of create that local bookshop mindset is to partner with global retail partners all over the world who already have that local bookshop feel um, and work to become their ebook partner. So for example, we've partnered with Booktopia in Australia, Livraria Cultura in Brazil, Fnac in France, and Montadori in Italy. Uh, so we kind of work with them to leverage their built-in audience in the local market and offer a new option to their readers. Uh, we really focus, like I said, on making reading life better for readers, and we're always working to improve our devices and kind of add more innovations to make reading lives easier. So one of these is the Comfort Light Pro. So the best part of that is to 
uh, make it easier on your eyes when you read at night. So it's kind of got that nice orange light that doesn't affect your sleeping. Um, we also have Bluetooth integration for audiobooks. Um, we have the stylus now, um, so you can add notes to your books. Um, and we also have eco-friendly materials um, that we use to make uh, e-readers like the Kobo Clara 2E. Um, and we also have waterproof models, which I love um, because you can use them by the pool or the bath without worrying. Um, so now a little bit about my favorite part of Kobo writing life, of Kobo, which is Kobo writing life. Um, so we are created by writers for writers. So we really take pride in that author friendly mindset. Um, so I like to say that you can publish on Cobra Writing Life in four easy steps. Um, the first being just to create your account. So you're just giving us all the information about you, um, all your payment information, so we can make sure you're paid for the sales you make on the platform, um, and just all your contact information. Once that's all set up, you upload your file. Um, so you don't have to have an EPUB already set up. It can be a Word document. We have an EPUB conversion tool that converts it for you. Um, and you also add in your cover um, and all your metadata, which we'll talk a little bit about in a bit. Um, and then after that, you just hit publish and it'll be up in 48 to 72 business hours. So that time is just to give our team, um, because we're all real humans, a chance to look at your books and uh, make sure everything is okay before they're live on the Kobo store. Um, and then after that, uh, one of the best parts is getting to promote books to our readers. Uh, so that's looking at our promotions tab, which I'll show you guys in more detail in a second, and just participating in those promos on the Kobo store or in Kobo emails. A little bit about what makes us different. Uh, so I know as a wide author, you have lots of options for retailers to put your books onto you. It can be a little bit overwhelming. Um, so one of the things that I love about Kobo is that we don't ask for any exclusivity and we never will. Um, it's really kind of against our ethos. We want to make sure that you can reach readers no matter where they are. Um, so We'll never ask for that. Um, and we're kind of known for being an easy to use platform as well. Um, and that's something we take pride in. So all the feedback that you bring us, we take to our feedback or we take to our feedback channel with our development team um, and it is passed on. Um, and it's easy to do that because we are a small team. I usually tell authors when you email us, you're either reaching me or one of the five members of our team in Toronto. Um, so we really do take all of that feedback on and pass it on to our team. And now a little bit about the different opportunities that we offer um, that are unique to Kobo. And one of these is the promotions tool that I mentioned. So if you log into your Kobo Writing Life dashboard and you don't see the promotions tab, you can email us um, writinglifeatkobo.com. Um, you are going to hear me mention that email a lot, but I'll also um, put it in the chat at the end as well. And my email is also available at the end of the presentation if you would like to grab that. Um, so you can email us to get the promotions tab turned on. We have all different kinds of promotions um, from the free page, um, which is a great spot to spotlight perma-free books or free book bubs that you might have to the daily deal, which is again, another good spot to feature a price drop book bub. Um, so our daily deals are um, available. We only have a few a month, um, but they're available to anyone who has a price drop that they'd like to apply with. Yeah, the um, the cleaner guy was like, uh, and Patrick was like, uh. <laughs> like, Here, can like, you mute uh, everyone, Laura? Yeah, I just, I think I just muted. So maybe everyone can take a sec right now and make sure they're muted just in case. Um, but yeah, no worries. Um, so some of the other promotion opportunities are buy one, get one free promos. Um, so one example of this is our buy one, get one free thriller sale and the buy one, get one romance sale. So we usually switch up genres for these every other month. Um, so I believe it will be one month of romance, one month of thriller. 
Um, we also do sometimes backlist sales for different authors. So if you're interested in do, doing a backlist sale for your books, um, you can email us about that and we can take a look at your catalog. Uh, we also have uh, percentage off promotions um, and I know it's a big deal if you have to actually drop the price on your books because if you're a wide author, you have to do a price drop across all retailers. Um, so a lot of authors prefer percentage off promotions. So you can use a promo code. You don't have to drop your price. Um, so we keep that in mind and we like to focus on buy, buy more, save more sales like the BOGOs or percentage off promos. Um, so in that case, you can keep an eye out for those on the dashboard. Uh, we also have box set promotions as well that use promo codes and box sets do really well with Kobo readers. So if you have some of those and they aren't up on Kobo yet, I definitely recommend um, uploading those on the Kobo store. We also have quick and easy audiobook upload. Um, so if again, if you don't see this in your dashboard, you can email us to get it turned on. Um, it's pretty easy. You just upload your audio files and you can drag and drop them to reorder. Um, and then just you add your, your cover in and you're all set to upload. You can also opt these into Kobo Plus. Um, and it's just a quick switch in your dashboard and they'll be part of our Kobo Plus Listen program. We also offer audiobook promotions as well. Those aren't in the promotions tab at the moment. Um, so you can email us to be added to that list or email me and I'll add you to the list. Um, so these are by genre. So for example, this is one of our three for 15 um, mystery promotions. We also have um, audiobook sales as well um, that are buy more, save mores. Um, and you can kind of build your own bundle like a three for 15. Um, and then we have price drop sales as well, like this under $10 audiobook sale. So definitely email us to be added to that list if you're not on it already. And one of the other unique Kobo perks that I mentioned is our relationship with OverDrive. So our devices all have OverDrive built into them. So it's a great way for readers to access their library quickly. Um, so we offer very easy opt-in in your dashboard. It's just a switch that you turn on here, um, and then you just enter your library price. Um, and you can always go in and adjust your library price if you need to. Um, and then because we have um, this option available directly, you don't have to pay an aggregator fee like you would if you went through a distributor. And we also offer um, two options to librarians. We offer the one copy, one user model or the cost per circulation model. Um, we also offer library promotions as well. So again, that's available through our email list. So you can email us to be opted into that list. Um, so right now I think we're doing like a, an all fiction ebook sale similar to this one. Um, we also do end of year sales as well. So yes, definitely want to make sure you're on that list if your books are uploaded to Kobo directly. And of course, Kobo Plus, uh, which is our all you can read and listen subscription program. Uh, it's a revenue share model and authors get paid by the minutes. Um, we don't have a required opt-in time. Uh, we used to have one before, but again, we took on the author feedback from that and we removed um, what was the previously 90 days um, opt-in time. Uh, so now there's no time requirement, but I still recommend doing around 90 day opt-in. Um, and that's just so readers have a chance to actually find your books in the program um, and they have a chance to build some heat. Um, and again, we're not asking for any exclusivity for Kobo Plus. Um, they can be in Kobo Plus and still be on other platforms or other stores. And Kobo Plus right now is available in 10 countries. Um, so Belgium and the Netherlands, Portugal, Italy, France, Canada, which is our home country, um, and also Australia, New Zealand, the US and the UK. So it's a great way to kind of build up that global audience. So I definitely recommend taking advantage of it. And a bit more about how to access Kobo Plus. So again, this is just a quick switch in your dashboard. 
Um, you can either select all territories, including future ones, which I recommend, or you can choose specific ones only if you'd like to try out a few territories first before going to all of them. And a little bit about the Kobo Plus reader. So Kobo Plus is made up of our most avid readers. They kind of, I would say, love genre fiction overall, um, but lately we're seeing a lot of cozy fantasy and paranormal romance read in the, in the program, as well as mystery and thrillers and box sets. So again, make sure you opt in those box sets. Uh, the Kobo Plus reader also loves backlist content. So this is a great opportunity if you want to opt in just your backlist content at first, and then maybe later on you opt in your front list. Um, you can try that as well. Um, it's a great place to kind of find some revitalization for older books and they can kind of get some new readers that maybe they wouldn't before. Um, and we also find that a lot of these uh, Kobo Plus readers read on the devices and also listen to audiobooks as well. So you want to make sure if you have audio that those are um, opted into the program as well. And again, we're seeing a bit of a different taste depending on where the reader is. So for example, right now in Canada and the US, we're seeing a lot of paranormal romance. And in the UK and Australia and New Zealand, we're seeing a lot of thrillers and romantic suspense. So you might find some readers in somewhere you didn't expect. So definitely great for that global reach. And most recently, we just added Kobo Plus promotions to the promotions tool. Um, so those are available now if you'd like to apply to them. This promotion is an exclusive carousel available to subscribers on Kobo.com. Um, and it's available in Canada, the US, the UK, and Australia and New Zealand. Uh, this is updated weekly, so there's lots of opportunities to apply. Um, and it's for all genres. And again, these promotional opportunities are only available for authors publishing directly via Kobo Writing Life. And definitely take advantage of our global audience. Um, here's an example of what some of our Kobo Writing Life maps look like. So I love seeing these. Um, the red dots represent countries where you have sales and they get bigger depending on how many sales you have in the region. Um, so definitely an opportunity to Make sure you have all your global pricing, which we'll talk about in a little bit, um, but it's great to see the audience grow. And here are some of my Kobo tips and tricks that I wanted to share. And first, like I said, make sure you're taking advantage of that global reach. So make sure you're not just setting a local price. I know sometimes it's easy to just set the price of your home country and then kind of move on to the next book. Um, what I recommend is really going in to manually adjust your prices. Uh, so for example, setting these custom prices. So instead of taking the automatic 7.98, um, you can just add in the 7.99 price to make it kind of that nice rounded price. Um, you'd be surprised how much it actually matters to readers. Um, it's some kind of psychological thing, but they're just drawn to that pretty price. Um, so definitely go in and take a look at your prices. We also require global pricing for promotions as most of them are worldwide. Um, so if you wanna take part in those, definitely make sure you have all your pricing set. And if you're really tight on time and you only want to do your home country um, currency, I would say if you're going to pick one other currency, make sure you have Canada set. Um, again, this is our biggest market. You don't want to miss out on those readers. And let's talk about those partner stores that I mentioned. So I recommend if you're doing social media ads, try and target some of the partner stores directly. You can grab your link from Booktopia, from Fnac, and you can try and target um, people from that store. Um, and make sure that you're targeting all the geos that are important on Kobo. So again, um, you're making sure if you're choosing different geos in your ads, that you're not just targeting the US, for example, but you're also targeting Canada. 
Um, that's one of the biggest mistakes I would say authors make going wide is just keeping like a U.S. focused mindset. Make sure you're targeting Canadian readers as well, especially for Kobo. Um, but if you'd like, you can also target Australia and New Zealand for Booktopia, and you can experiment with the different partner stores as well. And let's talk a little bit more about box sets. So again, Kobo readers love box sets. We have box set specific promotions. They do really well in Kobo Plus. I was just doing an author review earlier. Um, and his top book on Kobo and his top book in Kobo Plus was his box set out of all the books he'd released this year. So definitely make sure you're keeping box sets in mind. I really recommend them when you've written three or more books in a series. You actually have um, something to bundle, um, but you should be willing to create a new book cover and an easily navigatable book file. Um, and as a reminder, we don't have a price cap, so you earn 70% of the list price on each box that's sold. So make sure you're pricing appropriately. Um, if you want to do a full series box set, for example, which a lot of authors do, you can do that um, and you can price it at what you feel like the box set should be worth. So you can price higher as we don't have that price cap. and a little bit about metadata. So I think our content team would be upset if I talked to you guys and didn't mention metadata at all. So I'm going to stick to two of my favorite pieces of metadata that I think a lot of people miss out on. Um, and that is the series name and series number. So here's a bit of a look at how series information looks on the Kobo store. So I recommend um, making a note for yourself to take a second to look at your product pages on the Kobo store. So here is where the series name and number live on the product store. You can actually click into this and it will bring you to a list of all the books in your series. If they link up correctly, then all the books in the series should be on that page. If you notice that one of them is missing, I would recommend double checking the series name. Sometimes it will just be something small, like an extra S is added. Or for example, um, this is one of our test series, Metadata, a binary tale. Um, but for example, if we put just death or data versus the death or data series, one book wouldn't link to the others. So definitely take a look at those and make sure everything is linking correctly and you have all the series numbers. And I will show you why. Uh, so we use series metadata in search. Um, so if someone's searching, for example, Penny Reed series, Winston Brothers, um, they'll be prompted to look at the box set or look at the series here, for example. Um, so you want to make sure that your books actually come up when someone searches. And we also use series metadata on the product page. So you want to make sure all your books are lining up here if someone clicks the first book in the series, for example. So Penny has two, three, four, five, and six all here. You want to make sure your books look like that as well. And we also send out what happens next emails. So these emails prompt readers to pick up the next book in your series. And they also prompt readers to pick up new releases. So for example, this is one of the ones I received um, for Kay Tucker's new release. I read her first book in the Fade and Flame series, and it's prompting me to continue and pick up book number two. Now, if your series information isn't linking correctly, the reader isn't going to get the next book in the series email. So definitely go through and make sure that all the information looks correct and lines up like it should. And again, take advantage of those promotions. Um, our promotions tool, like I said, is just for Kobo Writing Life authors. Um, so while you may get some Kobo promotions, if you're with uh, a distributor or an aggregator, um, we do have some that are specific just for Kobo Writing Life authors, like those Kobo Plus promotions, um, the Buy More, Save Mores that I mentioned, the promo code sales. Um, those are just available for Kobo Writing Life. So you definitely want to make sure that you're publishing direct with us. We update the promotions tab very regularly, so I usually recommend going in, 
once a week. I know there's a lot of retailers to balance. So if you can't make once a week happen, maybe once every couple weeks, once a month, um, but definitely check in pretty regularly. They're available for a variety of genres, but again, only at certain times. So that's why I recommend the regular check-in. Like I said before, we have the percentage off promotions. So for those, you don't have to worry about any price changes. Um, and we have custom promotion codes available on request. Um, so if you like, you can email us, um, writinglife at kobo.com, and we can create a custom promo code for you. Um, so if you would like one for a social media ad or for your newsletter, um, we can create one. Um, so definitely keep that in mind if you want to do something for your COBA readers. And here's a look at some of these promotions again. Um, this is one of our percentage off emails. Um, and we also had a BOGO going on here for an author as well. Um, and definitely when you're taking a look at these promotions, make sure you're looking at the dates to make sure those match up with any other plans you have going on for your books. Um, we also have the deadline here, submission deadline, uh, the carousels that will be part of the sale. So you may have to comment which carousel you'd like your book to be in. So make sure you're taking a look at all the different information. Um, and also tell us about why we should pick your book in the promotion. So we added this comment box about a year or so ago, but it's really important to take advantage of it. It's a good spot to tell our promotion specialist, Rachel, um, why your book fits into this promotion, uh, if it's being discounted for the first time, if you're going wide for the first time. Um, has it won any awards or anything like that? Um, do you have a book bub? Do you have another newsletter promotion? All those things are pretty important and we like to know about them. So definitely make sure you're taking advantage of this spot. Um, and here's some tips for our, from our promotion specialist, Rachel. Um, so number one is probably to have a great cover a lot of these promotions are done in conjunction with traditional publishers and traditional books. Um, so we want to make sure that everyone has a professional looking cover. Um, it's really the first thing that readers see when they look at your book. Um, and you want to make sure that your cover matches your genre as well. So if you're not sure, I would take a look at what the other books on store look like and kind of take a look and um, one of the best things about being indie is that you can change your cover at any time. So maybe if it, you feel like your cover is out of date, you can also go in and update your cover as well. Um, so definitely something to think about. Um, and like I said, that global pricing is very important, especially for promotions that take place over several geos. Um, so make sure you have that set up. Read the promotion description and choose wisely. So if there are several promotions happening at the same time, apply to the one that you'd like to be most part of because Rachel, if you apply to several, Rachel might approve you for one when you'd really like to be in the other. So make sure you're choosing wisely. And email us if there's any promotions you're not seeing on the tab that you'd like to. Um, a lot of our promotion ideas actually come from authors and author feedback, um, and then we keep them on long term sometimes. So definitely don't be worried about giving promotion feedback. And to keep applying um, some promotions, we can only accept a limited amount of people. So try not to be discouraged. Um, I know it's hard to see rejections as an author. Um, but please keep applying. And if you've applied like to 30 or so, 40 or so promotions, and you're really getting frustrated, again, you can email us and we can give you some feedback on your books because it might be something as small as your pricing. And here are some tips that I put together about going wide on Kobo. Um, so one of my tips is just to let readers know where your books are. If you've been a Kindle Unlimited author before, maybe some of your readers are making an exception and reading on Amazon, but really read on a different retailer, um, or they have friends that read on a different retailer. So definitely let your audience know where your books are, and it can kind of encourage them to spread the word. 
Um, you can also use your street team or your readers to ask them to rate and review your books. On the Kobo store, you don't have to have purchased a book to leave a review or a rating. So you can really take advantage of that. Ask people to review your books widely or move over a review they've left on another store. And that can help your books build some heat and add some rankings to them as well. Um, like I mentioned before, consider a promo code. This is a great thing to do at launch as well if you'd like to do something specifically for Kobo readers. Um, so if I was making one for Lee, for example, I could do like Lee 25, Savino 25. Um, you can choose what you want that code to be. And it can be for one book or for a whole series. You can make the constraints. Um, so it's pretty flexible. And definitely make sure you're researching each platform and their unique opportunities. So play around with the Kobo store or whichever store you're opting into Take a look at their opportunities like the promotions tab and really make sure you're taking advantage of all that they offer. And I've said this a few times already, but don't forget about your global readers. Um, make sure you have those Canadian prices set and that you're reaching out to global readers in your ads and with your pricing. And don't be afraid to reach out to the Kobo team if you have any questions about um, anything while you're getting started, but you can also reach out to us if you're going wide for the first time. We have some carousels um, called New to Kobo, um, and that's a great spot for your books to be added to if you're newly wide. Um, we also have New to Kobo Plus carousels that we can add your books to, um, but yeah, we're happy to answer any questions about the platform, so don't be worried about reaching out. Um, like I said, it's usually me or a few other people answering, so we're happy to answer your questions. Um, and just a few notes about moving direct from a distributor. Um, you want to avoid having duplicates of your books on site. This can cause some confusion for readers, especially if there um, are different prices from one book to another. So if you're moving directly to Kobo Writing Life, um, make sure you remove any books that might be up on an aggregator or a distributor. Um, so for example, if they're up through Smashwords or Ingram, sometimes authors don't even realize their books are up on the Kobo store um, through another distributor. So I would kind of do a little bit of an audit. Um, you can search your name on the Kobo store and see what books are uploaded. Once those duplicate copies are removed, you can email our team and let us know that you've moved over. We can move your reviews and ratings to your new books, so you can still keep those reviews and go direct. Um, and again, you want to let us know um, if you're missing the promotions and audiobooks tabs, and we can enable those for you so you can get those advantages of being direct. And here's a little bit about our Kobo Writing Life community. Um, so you can contact the team. Um, so here's the writinglife at kobo.com email. Um, you can also follow us on social media as well, Kobo Writing Life. I run all these channels, so I'd be excited to see um, some of you on there. Uh, I also do the Cobra Writing Life podcast, so we're about 300 plus episodes, so there's lots of backlist content for you to listen to. Um, it's a lot of tips from self-published authors, um, writing or craft tips, and industry news. We also have the Cobra Writing Life Quill, which is our newsletter, um, which has current news, author success stories, and writing tips. And we do monthly Q&As on the Facebook and YouTube pages. Um, as well as Kobo Q&A sessions and kind of genre-focused Q&As. So this month we're actually doing um, a horror paranormal roundtable and talking to a bunch of different authors. Um, so keep an eye out for that as well. Um, and as promised, here's my email. So feel free to note that down. Email me if you have any questions or if you'd like me to take a look at your account. Um, and I'm also happy to answer questions now if anyone has questions that they'd like me to answer. I, I sure. Okay, so um, this is mostly just a general, I'm not trying to convert people from KU to wide, even though I low-key kind of am, um, but a, an argument that I've seen popping up a lot is that they keep saying that Kobo, like you don't make nearly as much with Kobo Plus as you would 
KU because you do it by the minutes and not by the page. I don't think that's correct, but do you have any data that I can counter them with? Yeah, um, I can take a look at what we have and see if there's anything I can send you. Um, from what I've seen, it looks to be about the same rate um, from the comparisons I've been given. Um, but one of the things, too, is that we also count rereads. And from what I've heard, that's not necessarily the same as on other platforms. So if um, a reader reads your book more than once, um, you get the minutes read for those rereads as well. Um, oh, but yeah, I'll definitely... Sorry, I interrupted you. I was going to say that's perfect because that was the other question that everyone's been talking about is, do you count rereads? Do not count rereads. So that's perfect. Thank you. Yes, we definitely count rereads. Um, so I'll make sure um, that I take a look at our other help center articles and see if there's anything else I can send you as well, because we have some good ones about Kobo Plus. Oh, I will. Oh, my email's already there. Okay, perfect. I just went on the promotions tab and let y'all know I have a book bub. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Yeah, give us all the information about everything. Also, this is not a requirement, but our promotion specialist, Rachel, loves jokes. Um, so if you feel like leaving a cheesy joke with her in the comment box, she loves those as well. And she loves to torture our team with them. So whenever someone does that, we always get jokes in our team chat. <laughs> so feel free to do that. Um, yeah. So if no one else has any questions now, feel I'm, free to email as well. Comment. I have okay. a couple of comments actually, because okay. I noticed a comment today on Facebook in one of my um, gay romance books. Uh, Facebook group is that readers are having a hard time with the search. They don't like the way okay. the search is for Kobo Plus. They're not finding the books they want to find. Like these people are in that group are specifically looking for gay romance and they can't. Okay. So are you guys going to improve the search? I've heard that other places too, that the readers are complaining about the search engine yeah. that Google uses. Yeah. So That's my comments. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. So we're always looking to um, kind of take that feedback back to our search team. Um, we do have a team that's looking to search at the moment. So I'll make sure that I, I share that about Kobo Plus and about um, gay romance specifically to make sure that that's improved. Yeah. And I don't think it's just gay romance. I've, I've noticed that other places because I'm trying to convert my readers over mm -hmm. since I'm taking all my books out of KU and going okay. wide. Um, and that's my other concern is their 30 day free trial. We don't get paid for when they read our or listen to our audiobooks um during their 30 day trial. So they could actually listen to or read our whole catalog and we don't and then give up their trial and we get paid nothing. Yeah. So it it's it's true that we do have the free trial. Um we we have taken feedback about that and passed it on to the team. In in most cases, because um, there's so many different readers in the Cobra Writing Life audience, anyone who's reading through the catalog fast, um, it really is kind of evens out by everyone else in the catalog. So it we really haven't seen it to be an issue. Um, but again, I will pass it on to uh, to our team as well to make sure they're getting that feedback also. I have um, a couple questions. Sure. Um, I was just wondering if, so the promotions, that's a paid um, like feature similar to like running an ad. Is that correct? Um, so certain promotions have a flat fee associated with them. So that would be um, our daily deal, for example, or the Kobo Plus promo. Um, but a lot of them work based on um, COGS. So it's actually like a 10% cost um, of your earnings, um, but it actually isn't a flat fee. So in those cases, if you didn't earn any, if you for some reason didn't make sales in the promotion, there wouldn't be any cost associated with it. Um, so we do okay. specify. Um, then... Sorry. That's okay. Um, just follow up with that. Like when you run like one of the promos, like maybe one of the BOGO promos, are you still getting paid like your your full royalties like how does that work so um it will depend on each sale so um the cost associated with each promo is um 
on the promotions page. Um, so I believe it's a 10% cost for the BOGOs. Um, so you would be getting, I think, 60% of your earnings instead of the regular 70%. And does that, so say someone bought like a, a different book and then bought my book as like the free book, would I still be like so, earning anything? So it, it doesn't actually work like one book is the is the free book. It's kind of um, broken down across all the books they purchase. So not one book takes the hit of being the free book. Um, but if you email me, I can send you, um, we have a better breakdown on our help center about how BOGO earnings work um, with more math and an example. Um, and it's easier to look at it kind of laid out like that. Um, but okay. there's not one book that kind of takes the hit of the free book, I guess is the easiest way to say it. No problem. I will just send you an email. Thank you so much. No problem. Well, okay. Well, thanks everyone for joining me. And yeah, feel free to send me emails with any questions or anything that you want more info on. I'm happy to answer them or pass you on to anyone else um, if I don't have the answer. Um, but yeah, thank you for tuning in. Thank you. No problem. Um, and I'll send you, Lee, uh, my presentation as well if you want to share that, but I'll send you the recording too. Awesome. Perfect. Thanks, everyone.